boar is here. Let's go ahead and get it. Oh, it's a little heavy. Let's get this inside and unboxed. I'll go this way into the office slash shack. I'm gonna replace that FTDX10 with this guy. It's got stuck at the shipping facility for a week. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, got this thing set up to take a look at. This is a K4. They shipped at UPS ground, so it came a little late. I've been really excited to unbox this. I'm still working on building out my shack. I've been using it for a while, but kind of moved things around into my office, so I'd use it more frequently. And uh, I have a K, uh, an FTDX10 up here right now. Um, I'll show you here in a minute, but we're gonna start using that more for portable ops. Um, put in a case for higher power POTA when I'm not doing QRP stuff and for events like field day, stuff like that. But I wanted something for my base. So let's uh, open it up here. Okay. Got the uh, Elecraft manual right here. May or may not have uh, read some of this online the last week while waiting. And a letter. Thank you for purchasing our K4 SDR HF receiver. We hope you enjoy your K4 as much as we've enjoyed designing it. Now, some of you may not know this thing uh, has been back ordered a long time or was back ordered for some people up to two years. And uh, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on one uh, probably in early February, late January, thinking it was gonna be a while and then uh, realized that they were actually mostly caught up on their orders. So uh, this is the MH4, this is the hand microphone. I do plan on putting a boom mic in, but I wanted something uh, in the interim, so this is perfect. It's pretty much identical to my KX2 microphone, pretty close to it, just a different end uh, and some up and down buttons, so I'll go ahead and get that out. Okay. So, simple hand microphone, I'll keep that with it for now. That down. We got these boxes lift out. Looks like some extra protection. Got a USB cable um, with an Allen wrench toolkit. And then it comes with um, a power cable. And this does take power poles on the back. I thought it was weird that it came power poles, but um, wing nut clamp uh, terminators on the other end. I try to do everything power pull now, so I'll probably be cutting those off and making this power pull or making my own and keeping this stash somewhere. So set that down. And it looks like they've put a box in a box in here with extra padding. So I may have to just open that box there instead. So let's just do that. did ship this UPS ground, so they definitely did take some time to add a little extra protection for it. Oh my goodness. Layer upon layer. I can pull that out though. Let's do that. than my FTDX10. It's a nice foam insulation protection as well. Ooh, it's got a handle. There it is. KX4 wrapped in plastic. Can't wait to get this out and get this hooked up. I can turn the tape off there. All right. Also, that packing tape wrapped in the plastic is hard to. There we go. There's a nice handle if you want to carry it. Of course, 
You can see this, we can't leave this like this. Some of you are gonna be so sad right now, but we're gonna go ahead and pull that off. There we go. All right. Some of the knobs, they all feel pretty good. VFO knobs, nice. It's a nice big screen. It's a lot bigger than I expected it. Here's the back. I got the model with the ATU, so it's got three. You might see pictures where it has four. That's actually for a transverter, which isn't out yet. So when they release that, um, there's a potential for a VHF, UHF transverter for this thing. It does currently support a external transverter via the in and outs here. And then uh, you can also do an uh, RF filter. And you got Ethernet, which I'm gonna be playing with uh, some of their APIs and stuff to automate this thing. And there's that power pull. So, uh, oh good, you can do a rise on it on the bottom, so that's nice. So uh, we're gonna get this set up and uh, power it on and we'll take a look at it. All right, we're back and we got the radio slid into place here. Previously had an FTDX10 here and a laptop in the middle. I got to rearrange some things, so I got to build some shelving. Working on that still, so that's the the next project as part of this. I needed to get the dimensions right before I started building that out. But there's the radio. Um, I went ahead and hooked up the antenna, as well as uh, I had a power pole cable already. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this uh, power supply on here, and uh, hopefully nothing bad happens. Did see the test report. Let's go ahead and turn it on here. So I did hear about it making some popping noises when it started up as a normal thing for this radio. Looks like it's coming up now. See here the SDR receiver. I've already got it hooked into an antenna. Let's see if we can hear anything. So let's try some lower side band. And scroll up here. You can jump to frequency too. I'm still learning that, but uh And off frequency, I think. Still learning how this works. I believe you can tell it to center or follow on this. I'll have to read up on that. Now let's try to go to like 7, 2, 3, 4, enter. There we go, there's a signal down here. Oops. Looks like it's working pretty well. Let's go up a little bit and see if I can tune the antenna. Turn up the desk over you are. Uh, ATU tune? I think it's tuned. There you go. I love how fast their tuners are. Go right down. We lost them. Whiskey, whiskey, pour, Juliet, Let's a little bit. That's the Helicraft K4. I got a little bit more to uh, do to set it up and learn some of the controls, but uh, definitely pretty excited to mess with this. Uh, you can totally change this as well, change its band, I believe. Um, let's go to three and a half on that one. Oh, no, nope, let's leave you there. Uh, sub. 
Yeah, I'll we'll have to mess with this guy. We'll figure him out here in a second. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And uh, can't wait to start playing with uh, some CW on this and get it all set up. Thanks for watching.